how to install Windows 11 26H1. I'll walk you through the step by step process in this video. Everyone's talking about Windows 11 26H1, but what exactly is it? Is it a secret update from Microsoft or just another fake leak spreading online? In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Windows 11 26H1 safely. So, stay tuned, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, let's start with what's supposed to be in Windows 11 26H1. This update brings a slightly refined interface, faster boot times, and some under the hood improvements, especially for AI integration, copilot, and system stability. Visually, you might notice smooth animations redefined icons in some areas and an improvement notification tray it feels a little more flawless now for the system requirements they're still the same as regular windows 11 tpm 2.0 enabled ckb on 4 gigabytes of ram minimum 64 gigabytes storage and of course a supported processor if a pc already runs windows 11 you're gonna go for this one too now before going to downloading Windows 11 26H1 safely, we're going to walk you through the how to install Windows 11 26H1. And then at the end of this video, I'll walk you through how to download Windows 11 26H1 safely. So, without much more delay, let's get started with the installation process. You can see I've already downloaded the ISO file of Windows 11 26H1. After downloading, again, open the browser and now search for refuse. Open the link, scroll a little bit, and from there you'll have to download the latest one. Click on it and download will be started. After downloading, open the refuse, close the browser. Click on yes. Now it's here. Click on select and choose your ISO file and click on open. Now you'll have to insert a pin up to PC minimum 8GB in size. Now here in the position scheme, you'll have to select GPT and now finally click on start. But before clicking on start, make sure every data on your pen drive is backed up because in this process it loses every data on your pen drive. So make sure it's backed up. Click on start. Now you can check these boxes like remove, 4 gigabytes of RAM requirements, secure build, TPM 2.0 if you want to bypass them and if you want to remove requirements online account, you can also remove and check your local account just like this. And finally click on OK. Now click on OK. Now it's started. You'll have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to complete the process. Now you can see it's ready. Minutes is completed. Now you can close it. Now, you gotta restart your PC and put in the boot menu. If you don't know how, you can open this portal or just search on Google. Now, let me restart my PC and get into the boot menu. Now, from the boot menu, select the USB drive and hit enter. Just wait a few seconds here. And now you're in the installation menu. Select the language install layout and time currency format and then click on next. Now choose the keyboard style layout and click on next. Now select install Windows 11 and check this box. Click on next. Now choose I don't have a product key and wait a few seconds here. Now choose your Windows. I'm choosing Windows 11 Pro and now click on next now you'll have to accept terms and conditions you can read them and click accept now if you want to install the boot you can select your drive and click on next and installation will be started but in my case I want to install clean here you will have to press on the keyboard shift plus obtain CMD will be there type this part and hit enter and now type list space disk and hit enter now here you can see disk 0 is my windows installation disk 
So type here cell space disk space the disk number. Here the disk number is zero. In a case it may be one, two, or three. I'm selecting zero and hit enter. It's selected and now type clean and hit enter. Now it's done. Close it and replace it. Now you can see it's done. Click on next. Now click on install. Voila, it started. Now you gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes here to complete the installation process. During installation, a PC may start several times. Don't worry, the installation will keep continuing. Now, here finally, you have to connect internet where you can use. I don't have internet. I'm choosing, I don't have internet. Now, finally, welcome to Windows 11. Now, let's take the Windows version. Now, here you can see Windows 11 26 H1, latest build version. Everything is working fine. And if you go to settings, is there everything's working fine? So, as I mentioned at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Windows 11 26 H1. Now, let's talk about downloading Windows 11 26 H1 safely. Because this is where most people go wrong. If you visit random websites or Telegram channels, Claiming official ISO, be careful. Most of those links are not verified and could include malware. The safest way to use Microsoft Insider Program go to insider.windows.com where you can directly use uupdump.net. It compiles the build directly from Microsoft server, meaning you get the genuine and uh, unmodified version. And don't worry, I'm just showing you the method. Now, open the browser and search for uupdump. And here is the site, got it there, and scroll a little bit, and here you will find, this is the version, preview 28,000. If you're on normal processor, you'll have to download this version, and if you're on a ARM version, then you'll have to download this. As I'm on 64-bit processor, click on here, and now, you'll have to choose a language, click on next. Then. Choose the Windows versions and click on Next. Now you'll have to choose Download and Convert to ISO. Check this option and integrate the only framework if you want them. And choose everything is OK. Click on Create Download Package. Click on here. And Download Package is there. Close your browser. Go to Download. And here you can see the file. Right click on it. Click on Extract All. And check this. Extract. Now you can delete the zip file too. And, and now open the folder. And here you can see UP dump. Double tap on it and click on run. Minimize the page and click on yes. Now here simply type R and hit enter. Now here you gotta do nothing. Just wait for 10 to 15 minutes to complete the download process and converting the process into ISO file. Now, you can see it's completed and showing finished. Now, you gotta press 0 right Q to exit. I'm pressing Q and it's exited. Now, if you just go to download and now here you can see the ISO files there. In this way, you can download Windows 11 26 H1 the ISO file. And then, just flash it to USB drive and just install. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.